Hello, and in this screencast for Apache Isis, I want to show a different way of doing um, choices, uh, drop downs. So at the moment, we have a, a favorite color property, and I can specify different favorite choices, favorite colors, I should say. And uh, when I create a new object, I can do the same thing. But if we look at the code, this is implemented by two very similar bits of code. One's for the action parameter, simple object, where we have choices one returns a list of strings. And on the property itself, we have a similar supporting method um, that's returning basically the same set of values. So a different design for this would be to say, well, actually, let's use an enum instead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new enum, file new Java class. Uh, we'll call it um, color and uh, it's an enum and the values here are going to be red, green, blue and then what we can do is let's change this to be of type color and that's going to be, do you know what? Don't need it. That's the point. We don't need it at all there and uh, this is going to be taking a favorite color and we don't need the choices either um, and then what else needs to be changed we have the f this doesn't need to be used either so we could simply say random of um, color dot values let's change this supporting method random Colors, uh, so colors dot uh, get a random color, so int math dot random times the colors dot length should do the trick. Uh, the type of that is, of course, color. Um, that's of type color. And this needs to be of type. Okay, so let's run the application, see what we have. Okay, let's have a look. So on the uh, property, we can change the favorite color. We have a drop down just as we had before. And uh, when we create a new object, we again have a drop down just as we did before. Okay, so basically, if you use an enum for your property type, then you'll automatically get the drop downs, and that's really all there is to it. Okay, I hope that made sense. Give it a go, try it out.